Onions are being fried off. Now we've chopped some bacon up here. And we're going to add lovely, and this is mutt and mince, our own sheep, our own six or seven year old you. We mix these up. Now, now believe it or not, we're going to make meatballs out of these now. Lovely, nice meatballs if we mix all this up. If we don't prop it on the floor. It's that three second warning in it. Nobody knows, nobody's here. Always clean anyway. Okay, here we go. We did all that in. Now we're going to have to make these lovely balls. Mutton and bacon balls. <laughs> Nothing better, people. Very easy to make the balls, don't make them too big, don't make them too small. Make them like balls. <laughs> I was going to say something else, but make them like ping pongs, kind of golf balls, kind of size. Yeah, you see that? So there's going to be three of us being fed tonight on that. Ain't been a waste of nothing. All goes in there. Of these now, and um, onions have caramelized nicely. Now, dropping the balls. I love cooking. I'm a farmer that likes to produce food and to cook good food. And they eat nothing better than sustainable, nutritious mutton and bacon balls. Round the balls and then we put in celery, tomato and some Browning this off now. See, we've added celery, tomatoes, and some red peppers. The chilies, actually, only a little bit because I don't like that bun burning stuff. Get that to a heat now, and then I'm going to add some pesto, tomato pesto. Yes. Next, there was the garlic and ginger cut up. Add a little pinch of salt into that now. Simple. Get some black beans in there as well. In the oven now. For at least two hours. There we go. Two balls. 